Hey guys, so I just finished up what I believe is day 8 of Insanity Max 30 and I maxed out at 8 minutes and 22, 26 seconds um, and to be honest with you I probably could have maxed out further in the program but I do have some excuses today which part of me is beating myself up over it and another part of me is saying it happens, it's life, we all have those days um, but so I do have some excuses um, it's late it's about it's nearing nine o'clock so I wasn't able to do my workout all day because I was out of the house all day doing holiday festivities with schools and whatnot um, and so then I came home I finally was able to do my workout um, but my daughter is having a sleepover so I felt really I didn't feel selfish doing my workout because I don't ever think it's selfish to do a workout but I kind of felt like I can always say do the workout every day no matter what but today I was like doing a workout is not as important as monitoring my children and tending to their needs and um, dealing with the sleepover so I did quit the workout at about it was about 17 minutes so a little over halfway um, I will probably make up the next 15 minutes tomorrow um, but I did quit halfway with the max out time what happened was that my son got in trouble so he was crying and as a mother even if you know that your child does something wrong women and maybe some men I don't know but women have this thing where um, you other moms know what I'm talking about but if you hear a baby cry your body goes into like stress mode even if it's not your own child even if you are at a restaurant and you hear a baby cry like you want to help that baby it's just something within us and so when my son started to cry and he was in trouble I kind of like shut down like I kind of felt like why am I doing this workout right now like he needs me I should be tending to him and so I let that get to me so you know even though I'm saying all this and I'm kind of quiet um I am proud of the work that I did do though. I am drenched in sweat and that is only halfway through the program or halfway through this disc so and I don't know if I said it was Friday fight round one so that's what today's workout was. I have the weekend off but like I said tomorrow I'll probably do something um, but this workout you know I think it was easier this time and um, I, I did max out like I said at 8 minutes and 26 seconds but I would probably estimate that I would have been able to do about two more minutes had I not quit maybe not that's just a guess but I want to kind of break it down first so when I talk about maxing out to me maxing out is going as hard as you can for as long as you can using a non modified version and that is for me that's what works for me because I am able to do the non modified version um, if at any point I stop to take a break or my form gets really terrible or I start modifying that is when I consider myself maxed out however that might not be the case for everybody if you are doing this program you might use the modified version and your max out time would be whenever you you know can't modify anymore or maybe your modified your max out time might be you push for as hard as you can doing the regular version and then you modify and then you quit and that's your max out time you have to decide for you what you consider your max out. The reason I consider my max out going as hard as I can without modifying is because I know that I'm capable of that. So to me that's challenging myself which when you're challenging yourself you know you're going to see results. If I were to gauge my max out time on doing the workouts as hard as I can and then modifying and then quitting I know that I'm not challenging myself as much as I possibly can so that would only be hurting me but it does not mean that it's gonna hurt you so I just wanted to kind of put that out there because I have seen on Facebook you know some other coaches some challengers talking about you know they they did their max out time at 14 minutes but they said if I didn't count the time that I used the modified version I maxed out at 8 minutes and that's okay so you have to kind of figure out engage what is right for you and your body in this workout but so today even though all that happened, um, I feel good. I feel really great. Oh, you know, I want to share something, which this is going to be kind of embarrassing, but I feel like I need to be open and honest with you guys. So I suffer from severe IBS. I always have my whole life, and certain foods really challenge my body and mess me up. So tonight, 
one of those foods is white rice and I had white rice I don't even like white rice I know it makes me feel horrible it turns me like gassy it makes my stomach cramp and blow and hurt so bad and I get sick and nauseous and um but I ate it because I was hungry and I want to show you guys what that kind of entails let's move the camera back a little bit let's see how much we can see oh so my stomach let me suck it in a little bit my stomach normally looks about like this, a little bit flatter, Whew. but this is my stomach, but this is my stomach with the white rice. It is super bloated, super crampy, it hurts really bad, <laughs> and um, basically it's way bigger than it usually is. Where you see my obliques right here, that's normally how far my stomach is pulled in, but when I eat something like that, this is what happens. So. That is kind of embarrassing. It shouldn't be embarrassing, but YouTube is kind of a, a veiny um, community sometimes, so it is kind of like putting yourself out there to be judged, but I'm okay with that because if one person sees that somebody goes to the same challenges as them, but they push through, I that's it makes it all worth it. But anyways, I share that to say that that was one of the things tonight that was getting to me. My stomach is in so much pain. I have really severe cramps right now. <laughs> so, um... That was painful during the workout and for the first about three minutes I had a really bad stitch in my side because of that but I worked through it and I got over it. So you can do it too. There's nothing holding you back. You just had to push to you know your highest ability. Alright so I'm rambling. I will see you guys next time. Both my dogs are passed out here telling me that they are ready for bed. So until tomorrow or Monday I will see you guys later. Bye. Yeah.